Hey everybody, it's Game Maniac here. Back to do another update type video. Um, just wearing a bleach shirt. Just figured I'd show you what it looks like. So yeah, without further ado, here's the video. Um, just going through uh, some more pickups that I got. So a uh, couple games and some regular movies, not anime or anything like that, but just normal movies, you know. Um, so yeah, just go ahead and go through it now. I'll start with the games. Uh, the first one's a Wii game. And um, just picked this up today uh, at Best Buy, actually. Um, just figured I'd... Uh, I've been waiting for this game to come out for a little while. Um, it came out pretty recently. Um, and I have the... Uh, it's actually the second game in the in the series that I know about, and that's uh, Rhythm Heaven Fever. Now I have the three the three not the three DS but the DS version, uh, just regular Rhythm Heaven, and it's uh, it's a blast to play. Um, it's really hard though. Um, you really have to be on time with your button presses and whatnot. Or, I mean, you f you'll fail, and you definitely, you can't get perfects and stuff very easily. Um, definitely takes practice. So, I figured this game is pretty much more of that, um, as far as I, I know. And, uh, on the, if you want to see the back, there it is. On beat play, off beat action. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to playing this one. The disc, pretty colorful. Um, it's it's very weird. Like everything that you're doing within the game is pretty weird. Um, I haven't played this version of it, but in the other one, like you're putting robots together uh, to the timing of music, and uh, a whole bunch of others, like a spaceship fighter type of a one, and stuff like that. But it, they're all, from what I remember, they're difficult to to get really good at. But uh, I love a good challenge, and it should be a lot of fun. And plus, the music's pretty catchy in all of them. So, gonna love it to do that. Alrighty. Now, this next one is just a DS game. Um, I actually showed in an earlier video that I picked up uh, the fourth one of this series. Um, but I went ahead and got the sixth one. I would like, have got, like to have gotten the fifth one first, but I've, th this was only like... 14 bucks, so I was like, I'm not going to pass that up, and it's brand new, so this also was at Best Buy, um, and that is Dragon Quest VI, Realms of Revelation, so I have, like I said, I've never played a, a Dragon Quest game, I also have Dragon Quest IX on the DS, so I haven't had a chance to play any of them yet, but I know that a lot of people say they're like Chrono Trigger and stuff, um, so I know I'll probably like them. Um, Plus, I like action RPGs for the most part. So, moving on. So, that was all the games. So, now some regular movies. Which isn't a complete typical thing that I get a whole lot of. Just here and there, randomly. Uh, but yeah, this movie, I uh, heard a lot of good things about it. I never, I wanted to actually see it in the theaters, but I never, never got a chance to. Um, so I figured I'd, I'd pick it up. It was only like, like uh, fifteen dollars, so it wasn't too bad. Um, but it's the uh, DVD version of Cowboys and Aliens. So, which I guess is the same director as Iron Man. Didn't know that. Um, but it has Daniel Craig and Harrison Ford in it. Um, but for, to me, what the preview looked like, it looked like it'd be pretty funny. So. And a good action film, so can't really go wrong there. Alrighty, next one. I like this series of movies. Um, I just never got a chance to watch this one, and they had it for like five bucks. So I was like, you know what? I'm getting it. And I'm watching it. So, and that is Live Free or Die Hard, the unrated version. Obviously, it has Bruce Willis in it. Um, like I said, I've liked all the other ones that have that have been in that movie series. Um, 
and I just never had a chance to watch that one, so I figured I'd pick it up and watch it. Okay. Now, this next one is... Now, this is, once again, I, I like this movie series pretty well. Um, save for, a f like, a few of them that I didn't. were just alright. Um, but, yeah, I'll go ahead and show it, and then I'll explain. But it's Predators. Basically the newest in the Predator movies. Um, I haven't seen this one either. I, I, it's a typical thing. I usually, any movie that I, I would have wanted to see in the theater, if I don't get a chance to, I'll wait for it to drop all the way down to like 10 to 5 bucks and then I'll pick it up just to watch it. Um, most of the time I'm pretty happy with when I get them. But yeah, with the Predator movies, I, I really enjoyed the first one and the, the second one is good as well. And then uh, the AVP movies, they were, they had moments that were alright, but for the most part, I, they were just kind of like, eh, you know. Um, but hopefully that one's good and is more in line with the Predator movies and not the AVP movies. So, the next pickup is, now this, this one, I've seen the first two in this. This is actually a collection of all the movies. There's three of them. And uh, I like this. The, the, the series pretty well. Um, I like the first two, which is ones I've seen. I have not watched the third one yet, so I figured I'd pick it up in the collection and I'd have all three. So, and that is, and it was all three for, I don't quite remember, I want to say it was like 25 bucks for all three or something like that. But yeah, that is the Born Trilogy. Pretty much like a suspense, suspense action movies is what they are, but uh, show each one real quick. The first one being The Born Identity, the second one being The Born Supremacy, and then the third one, which is the one I haven't seen, The Born Ultimatum. So, just about a guy that re doesn't remember who he is, and everybody, uh, people after him, and he's just trying to figure out what's going on and to stay not get captured basically but uh they're all really good the ones the two I've seen anyway so be nice to I haven't watched them in a while so it'd be nice to rewatch the first two and of course see the third one okay the next one now this movie I actually picked up on blu-ray uh, the next two are two pickups are actually on blu-ray but uh this one I've been meaning to get this one in forever. I don't know why I haven't had it until now, but uh, I figured why not? It's the it's the actual the tenth anniversary edition of it, um, and so this movie's basically about fighting and about a fight club. <laughs> and this movie just it, it's it was is a mind mind bender. Especially when I first saw it, if the the ending is just like whoa, <laughs> but uh, it's a good good movie, great movie. Can't say anything really too bad about it that I didn't like. So picked it up, and I'm looking forward to watching it. All right, now this next series of movies, I've been waiting for them to be to come into this collection. Um, I've had it actually, I've actually had this for maybe a few few weeks now, but I just figured I'd show you guys. Um, but there's actually eight movies here in a collection. Um, and I've liked all of them for the most part, I'd say. Uh, well, I do like all of them. And like I said, I've been waiting. I didn't pick up any of them as they came out, like in individuals. So I was just waiting for the collection because I knew it would eventually come. And that is the Harry Potter 8 film collection on Blu-ray. Um, it's a pretty, pretty cool series of movies, I think. I have to be honest that I have not read the books. Um, maybe I will down the line, but as of right now, I probably won't. But I like all the movies, and so, I, like I said, I, I wanted to get them. I, just, I was patient enough to just wait for the collection, because I knew it would be less expensive for one thing, and you'd have more bonus features and all that fun stuff, so... Um, and obviously, uh, all the movies in this are The Philosopher's Stone, 
Chamber of Secrets. Prisoner of Azkaban. The Goblet of Fire. And we got uh, believe Order of the Phoenix. And then Half Blood Prince. Followed by the two part seventh book, or movie made into the book. The movie uh, is The Deathly Hollows, part one and part two. So, I, I like Harry Potter, the movies. They're pretty, pretty cool stuff. When the first two came out, they were just alright to me, but like as the story kept going on and on, uh, I really started getting into them, especially in the third one. Uh, it just the tone of the movie got more mature and more, you know, darker as it kept going. Um, and definitely by the end, I mean, it's it's pretty intense. Um, but I like stuff like that. So I think that's pretty much all my pickups. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the watching. Um, I should have more more on the way. Um, still waiting on on a package, so I'll put that up when I get it. Um, other than that, I guess have a have a good one. See you later.